Okay, hello everyone. Uh, this is a walkthrough for the um, the data tasks in the part. It's part two of workshop two. It's week two, and um, I'm just going to walk you through it. So you can have a go during the workshop or on your own whenever. It's up to you. Okay. Um, the important thing is we have a a good play around with data. Uh, I don't care how you do this. I'm going to use uh, Google Sheets. Um, but you could do it in Excel as well, and um, there, there are a couple of subtle differences between the two, but they're pretty much the same, to be honest. So um, I challenge you to do it in either of those. I'm going to use uh, Google Sheets. Right, so the first thing I want to do, I'm going to read this. Right, the ultimate goal for this task is to reproduce this figure. Okay, so this is quite an interesting set. This is a real data set. Um, actually, there's two data sets here. Um, one is from <coughs> uh, gov.uk. So they are confirmed cases of UK between the years uh, 96 to 2017. Actually, I think it's gone to 2018 now. And um, the other data set is actually from the, the Global Health Organization. And it contains data on immunization coverage for measles. Um, for all countries in the world that have an immunization program. So what we'd want to do is generate this plot, which essentially is showing you the the number of confirmed cases in the UK um, between 1996 and 2017, and the immunization coverage for the UK as well. Okay, and you can see here, you know, this is the, this was the big scandal. I remember this. Maybe you don't. Um, <coughs> But actually, there's, a, there's a, a, a paper published in, so I think it was 97, around here, um, widely discredited now, um, which, which basically said measles um, causes autism. Uh, and of course, parents and families stopped immunization for their children um, in the UK. And so we can see a big dip here over the next sort of 10 years. And... A corresponding spike or a couple of spikes here in cases of measles um, that that followed that okay so this is you know a really big deal still a big deal okay still lots of you know myths and folklore about measles um, in the media today it's a common um, you know news story <coughs> but here we're gonna look at the real data and, and you know obviously as scientists you can see <laughs> If there's an, uh, a decrease in immunization, you get an increase in confirmed cases of measles. There you go. It's that simple, right? So let's go look at the data. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to download these data sets, right? So let's go to this one. So now this is what you go to and you see any government website and the data is actually published in a HTML table. So there's not a file to download. Now that's okay. And actually, if you're probably going to be looking for data online, it's going to be in this format probably. Sometimes there are things to download, and I'll show you that in a second with the, the Global Health Organization data. But if you had to, to sort of type all this out into a spreadsheet, wouldn't that be really, really annoying? So, um, you know, we're going to use our old friend, copy and paste. I'm just going to do this, okay? That's going to be really messy, but I'm going to copy that. Okay, I'm actually going to uh, create a new Google Sheet here. Okay. Do, 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 do. Let's give that a name. I'm going to call that Week 2 Data Handling. Okay. And I'm going to just do Control and V. Actually, I'll do it with the mouse so you can see. Paste. And there you go, it's done it. Yep, it's got 2018 as well. Brilliant. Um, I'm going to get rid of that little asterisk so it's actually data. There you go. Now, this is great, <coughs> but this is not so great because I've got a value here and then I've got a value in brackets afterwards. Now, Excel isn't, or Excel or Sheets is not going to know how to plot that data when the time comes to make a plot. Um, and why these are in brackets here? Well, this is the number of cases for England and Wales, the 56, and this is the cases for just England, okay? So let's, n let's not exclude Wales, right? Come on, 
let's um, insert a column to the right. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to separate this data so that I've just got these values, the 112, the 117, 56, in this measles column, right? Now that's really easy to do using Excel or Sheets. I'm gonna, I'm gonna highlight this. I'm going, to, I'm going to go to data and I'm going to go to split text to columns, okay? Click that. Um, and I'm gonna choose my separator as a space. There you go, it's done it. Now, this is the column I want, which is great. It's put the rest of the data, which was in the brackets, to this column. And it's done something a bit weird here, but I don't really need to worry about it because I'm not gonna use that data. But basically it's removed the parenthesis and it's put a negative sign between them. So if I wanted to use this data instead, I'd have to multiply all these values by minus one to get them to be positive, okay? So you'd have to do something like this. Equals times minus one. Okay, and okay, let's keep be consistent. Measles England only. Okay, I'm not even going to use this data. I'm just going to plot this one for now. Okay, I don't want to know about mumps or rubella in this case, but I could I could make equal plots for those. Um, Right, so I think I've got my, my UK cases data sorted. Let's go and look at the World Health Organization data, shall we? Let's go back here. Measles first dose, okay. Right, <coughs> so here's the data. And again, it's in the data table here, but they've kindly given us a CSV table. Now, a CSV table stands for comma separated variable, okay? And... I can import that into a spreadsheet. So I'm gonna download it, okay. There it is, data four. I'm going to go back to here. I'm gonna create a new sheet. Let's, let's label, my, I'm gonna label my sheets, okay. This is gonna be uh, measles cases, UK. And I'm actually gonna call this sheet immunization. Okay, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to insert. Now I've forgotten how to do this, so. Forgot how to do it, so what I'm going to do with sheets here is I'm going to go back to my directory. I'm going to. Why isn't that done that? Okay, and I'm going to go to new, and I'm gonna do a file upload. I'm gonna get that file that I've just uploaded there. So if you do that in Sheets, you can do this in Excel as well. You can just open up the file as an Excel file. Um, I'm actually gonna do, I'm gonna double click on this, and I'm going to do um, open with Google Sheets. Do, 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 get rid of that. Okay, so it's I've I've got a new a new Google Sheet now, okay, um, and if you if it's thinking about it, still thinking about it, there you go. So that's all the data, and got all the things there as well. I've got country, I've got year, and this is the immunization one coverage. I don't really need th this. This this header here is going to be the same for every single one of these. I'm actually going to delete that. And what I'm going to do now is so I can see that I've got all the countries and data going from 2018 back to actually goes back to 1980, right? And I only want the UK data. So how am I gonna filter this data, right? Well, there's a button that looks like this, create a filter. And if you click it, it brings up, it recognizes you've got headings in your sheet, and it brings up 
um, this little button here and if you click it I can actually decide which country I want to show. So I'm actually going to clear everything to begin with. I'm going to search for UK. Might be United Kingdom. Here it is. The United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Okay. Okay. And there is just the data for the UK. Now, I want to present that data alongside where is it? my measles cases. So remember what we're looking at here, this is the immunization coverage in percent. So 2018 it was 92 percent, pretty good. Um, I want to present that next to my measles England and Wales data. <coughs> in this column here. But the problem is this data goes from top to bottom and this data goes from left to right. So what am I going to do here? Well, I'm going to use a function called transpose and it's another copy and paste job. I want everything between 2018 and 1996. So I am going to do, 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 do this. 96, right? I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go back to my other sheet and I'm going to click here and I'm going to go paste special and I'm going to go paste transposed. I'm just going to think about it. Is it going to do anything with that? Oh, we didn't like that, did it? Oh. didn't like that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste it here just like that and then I'm going to do cut and paste transposed okay it doesn't like to do paste transposed from one from separate Google Sheets okay so you'd have to cut and paste it as it is to a cell here I should have put it here really um, well, I have done it now right okay and then copy and paste transpose it from there okay now I've made a mistake here because well there's two mistakes one I didn't want to put it there so I'm going to cut that I'm going to put it back there and also I've got the data upside down so I want to um, basically flip this data upside down okay so to do that I need to highlight this and then I'm going to click d -d -d data uh, sort Oops. Data sort range, okay. Um, and I'm going to sort column C. That's correct. And I'm also going to sort column D. Actually, no, I don't need to do that. And I'm just going to do it as uh, A to Z. There you go. Done. Okay. Actually, now I can get rid of this column because these all match up. Column A and column C now match. Delete that column. So I've got measles, England as well, and I'm going to do immunization coverage sets. Okay, let's put that in bold. Okay, so I'm nearly there. Now I just want to create this graph. Uh, let me just check on these tasks. I right, did that. I've, I've done task two, formatting the gut data. I've done filter to show the only UK rows. Now I've combined the data sets and let's just edit that. Create a plot. Okay, so I'm now going to create that plot. Uh, there we go. Right, so I'm just going to select all of this and I'm going to do insert chart Right, Google Sheet is pretty good at this. Um, it's already done a line chart, which is what I want, actually. Um, now the problem is it's only got one y-axis. I would really like to put the measles cases on the uh, the left y-axis, and I'd like to have a second y-axis on the right-hand side, which shows immunization coverage. Okay, so 
that's really really easy to do um, let's go to customize I'm going to go to series I'm going to go to um, I'm just going to select the measles remember what this is this is a uh, number of cases um, I think I need I need a better more descriptive uh, axis here I'll change that in a second and I'm going to specify the left the, the left axis that's fine I want uh, and this is this is a matter of preference but I am going to choose a dashed line and I'm also going to choose a circle of 0.7 okay um, now I want the immunization coverage to be on the right axis and there you go it's done it and I want the line type again to be dashed and I'm going to do okay so we're looking pretty good here I think what I'd like to do is I'd like to rescale this y axis a bit so I can see um, how this is changing a bit better so I'm going to double click the axis I'm going to how do I do that Nope. I think it's going to be chart and axis. Chart title. I'm going to do right vertical axis. I'm going to do. Oh, I've forgotten how to do this. Ah, oh, there it is. So if you double click on the the axis, it'll come up as maximum minimum. Um, I'm going to keep. Obviously, the top is 100. But let's do uh, 50. Enter and there you go. In fact, I might even do something like 70 there. Okay, so that really shows it. Now, a cardinal sin I've committed one is there are no y x labels, and actually, I should probably give a more actually, that title's pretty descriptive, but I'm going to call it uh, between um, 19. 96 and 2018 okay and let's put some axis titles on here so chart and axis titles uh, I've got the chart title I'm gonna do actually wouldn't be nice if I just had what would that look like 1996 2018 yeah that's pretty good and then for this I'll just get rid of that Nice. Okay. Um, y labels. Chart and axis titles. Uh, vertical axis title. I want to put. Um, measles. Number of cases. Okay. Brilliant. And then for the other Y, I'm going to put. Immunization coverage. Done. Uh, I think I'm just going to change this label here as well. How do I do that? Oh, I think I can just change this. Um. There you go. Right. There you go, there's a chart that's looking pretty good. I can download that as a PNG and take a look at that. Looks pretty good to me and I can share that. Right, job done.